Yep, already feels different than the first video we did. Now he's gonna go crazy with the car. Dancing, dancing. Mind blowing, like the first time was fast, but that was wicked. We smoking brakes there? Yeah, don't, don't move your brakes on. video if you have not seen it please please go check it out absolutely mind-blowing how well this thing does on track but we have a factory untouched GT500 and in today's video he's gonna turn it up we're here at NCM in Bowling Green Kentucky pretty cool because we got some cool cars in the background and he's part of the club here so very exclusive only about 15 or so people are actually uh, club members but if we take a look around here in the back we got some C8s grab your popcorn grab a drink Let's go for a ride. It's 2020 GT500, and he's gonna turn it up a notch. Let's go. buckled up for safety here but like I said last video he didn't give it all the beans so today or in this video which is our part two he told me he's going to give it a little bit more so <laughs> let's see what she's got all right guys round two you ready round two I'm ready let's turn the AC off this time yeah apparently this car is too loud from the factory so He's getting in trouble a little bit, but I don't know how we're gonna combat that today. Especially if he's gonna turn it up and go faster. We might have to lift by three, which will hurt the lap time, but we'll still get to feel the car. You know? Yeah, yeah. So here we go. Shift on its own. So, so the car's doing a great job shifting on its 
own seven speed tool clutch. Well done. Well done, Ford. Good, good job, Steve. 142 mile an hour there. Yeah, Steve is a hell of a driver. <laughs> Yeah, for some road course videos are like fun to watch, others are like, eh, but I'm telling you, unless you, for those that are out there that know, you, you'll understand. Those of you that don't, if you've never done this before, you have to. Find an experienced driver in a car like this, and hold on. Oh, wow. There we go. watch it could feel this Dude, this car is good man this is uh this thing is nasty nasty oh. it took me a long time to get into the mid-teens in my r right a long time yeah uh, granted i have been a 12 or a 13 in the r yes but guys keep in mind that is a full race car full gt4 aero yeah full weight reduction yeah no interior this thing is from the factory race slicks I yep mean, this thing is showroom. Like he just bought this car a couple of weeks ago. Right. Barely any time in it, still learning the car and getting faster. I had it out last Friday. It That's rained. right, yeah. On Monday I had it out, I blew sound. I never even got to do a full lap. Yeah. So that, that 16 there was my first real hot lap. That's, That's awesome. With a passenger, that's first hot laps in a $100,000 car, I'm still, you know, a little nervous with it for sure. Not really nervous, but I want to, you know, bring it home in one piece. Exactly. Six. Really? It's getting louder. <laughs> wow. 1036. Because I was lifting just about every lap. 103.6 decibels. Further right, too. What's the limit out here? 103. Oh, <laughs> 103 is the limit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. We smoking brakes there? Yeah, don't, don't glue your brakes on. Brakes are 
brakes are hot. Yeah, you can see the uh, the steam. So the brakes are really warm. Now he's gonna drive around and just let the air cool him off. They're some of the biggest brakes they, I've ever seen, period. They are There's massive. And a half inch massive. <laughs> and you can feel every bit of that on track. That is so crazy. I'm so impressed with this car, the way it digs in and just goes. It's it's like you are just yeah. more power. It's it's. We were rolling good speed there. Yeah. I mean, that 16 lap is pretty representative of what this car can do grip wise. Yes. The difference is going to be putting the power down. Correct. This thing can put a ton of power down. Yep. And it's you know it's a little sketchy. It's a lot of power. Yeah. And it can put a lot down. So you really kind of got to build your way up to to how much power you can apply coming off some of those corners. Yeah. You know, and especially when I have a passenger in the car. Right. I have two main goals. That's keep you safe. Keep me safe. Keep my car safe. Yeah. Then worry about lap times. <laughs> right. It's a hundred thousand dollar Mustang. I'm not so much worried about my safety. I trust you. I've been on track with you enough to know that you know what you're doing. So the first time though, I was I was a little scared, honestly. But um, I'm warming up to it. <laughs> but what a blast! So much fun. Absolutely, just mind blowing. We were rolling good speed though. We were already sliding and stuff everywhere. Yep. So it's just it's just a matter of putting more power down. This really is a point and shoot car as they like to call them. Yeah. You know, you just gotta get it pointed off the corner and and, and nail it. The C8. It's getting louder. <laughs> like, yeah. It's like the mufflers are breaking in and, and it's getting louder. Yeah, that will happen. That will happen. And you're breaking them in pretty nicely. Not street driven miles, you know what I mean? <laughs> Racetrack miles. So it was almost I hate a, it when that happens. Where is that? 216. 216, almost a 15. Yeah, and you know what, dude? I think we were on like a really fast lap and something happened because it didn't. Yeah. It says number one was a 125. And like, I noticed when we were on that real fast lap, it never read. It said like, it said we were like 30 seconds behind the fast lap. I'm really? Like, oh, that's not right. Interesting. <laughs> But yeah, still we did a 216.0, so almost cut a 215, which is, it's, that's a quick lap out here, it really that's, is. That's crazy. Plus we gave away about a half a second. Because of the, the sound. At least a half, you have to remember that sound guy on turn three yeah. is leading on to the long, the second longest straightaway yes. on the track. Yes, yep. So, I mean, you're giving away a lot there yep. by lifting or going wide or, you know, going. So I'm really impressed with the, the way the car is shifting around. The DCT. I mean, as heavy it is, as it is, it, 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 it's, a, it it's about a 4,000, <laughs> yeah, it's about 4,000 pound car. You can feel it. Like when I throw the R, because I'm pretty aggressive on turning and stuff, uh -huh. like you could feel this car grip and then you could feel it kind of just like slide over a little where the R will just like, yeah, it's like a cat on carpet. Just <laughs> <laughs> shocked and impressed with how good this car is. Seven speed dual clutch. I mean, the engineering that went into the development of this car, I mean, it's on point. So a lot of guys, you know, they're like, oh, it's a $100,000 Mustang. Why would you ever pay that much? But to come out here, especially for this. Those are supercar times, really. The supercar times, yeah. Out of a Ford Mustang. Unbelievable. That's Dude, why. For a little reference, Andy Pilgrim, who's a multi-championship winning pro driver. Yes. He's been out, uh, they did the Acura NSX out here. Yeah. They did like a 214.5 or so in yeah. the new Acura NSX. And again, that's a pro driver. So exactly. We just about cut a 15 in this. They, yeah. They had the GTR out here. I think it did like a 13. Again, pro driver. So yes. It's, it's a fast, fast car. That's crazy. <laughs> a lot of guys are just going to buy these, you know what I mean? And then they're just going to drive on the street and that's going to be about it's unfortunate because they never will realize what how this good this really car is, is. Exactly. yeah exactly. you're basically buying a race car from the factory right. honestly yeah.